A bold new starship design called Chrysalis. Imagine sending thousands of people on a one-way journey to Alpha Centauri. The catch? The trip takes 400 years, so only future generations would reach the destination. Hypothetical for now, it raises a big question. Would you leave Earth forever to join such a voyage? Keep watching this video to know more about this topic. The Initiative for Interstellar Studies launched the Project Hyperion competition to push the limits of imagination and design. The challenge, envision a generation ship, a vessel that could carry at least 1,000 people across interstellar space using technologies that are at least plausible in the coming centuries. From multiple entries, Chrysalis emerged as the winner. Its design rethinks what a spacecraft could be. Instead of a metallic tube with limited living quarters, it imagines a 58-kilometer long cylindrical structure made of concentric shells. Each shell has a specific role. The outer layers provide shielding and storage, while the inner zones hold farms, habitats, and communal spaces. At the center sits a core for shuttles, infrastructure, and essential systems. Inside, it wouldn't feel like a machine, the designers pictured Earth-like environments, forests, grasslands, and agricultural fields that provide both resources and psychological comfort. A unique feature, the Cosmodome, would allow inhabitants to experience low gravity while looking directly into the cosmos. The propulsion system is equally ambitious. The concept relies on a direct fusion drive using helium-3 and deuterium as fuel. In theory, the ship could accelerate for a year, cruise at about 10% the speed of light for centuries, and then decelerate as it nears its destination. At that speed, the 4.24 light-year journey to Proxima Centauri B would last roughly 400 years. Population management is another core element. While it could hold up to 2,400 people, designers suggested a stable population closer to 1,500, regulated through careful birth planning. Governance would follow a consensus-based system, aided by AI tools to help maintain continuity and resolve disputes over generations. Chrysalis is a blueprint for life beyond Earth, tested by decades of Antarctic isolation, built to carry humanity to the stars. While Chrysalis exists only on paper, it serves an important role in shaping how we think about the future. First, it highlights the interdisciplinary nature of interstellar travel. Rockets alone won't solve the problem. To survive centuries in space, humans would need reliable ecosystems, stable governance, and strategies for cultural and psychological resilience. It shows how these pieces could fit together. Second, it underscores the scale of the challenge. Even our closest star system is unimaginably far. At a fraction of light speed, the voyage takes multiple lifetimes. That reality forces us to rethink exploration, not as a single mission with a clear beginning and end, but as a living society moving through space. The propulsion concept also points toward future technology goals. A functional fusion drive remains speculative, but progress in fusion research continues on Earth. If achieved, it could transform both energy production and deep space propulsion. By placing fusion at the center of the design, it ties interstellar travel to developments already underway. Equally significant is the attention to sustainable closed systems. Maintaining farms, forests, and recycling mechanisms within a sealed habitat reflects ongoing experiments like biosphere projects and life support research on the International Space Station. These lessons are relevant not just to space, but to Earth, where sustainable living systems are increasingly urgent. There's also the social dimension. History shows that long-term isolation can lead to fragmentation or cultural loss. Chrysalis directly addresses this with governance models aimed at fairness and resilience. While sociocracy and AI are just suggestions, 
they demonstrate that political design is as essential as propulsion. Chrysalis isn't just a ship. It could become a new birthplace of culture, where future generations may no longer see themselves as Earthlings. Chrysalis may never be built, but its design has lasting implications. Technological Pathways The reliance on fusion propulsion illustrates how vital energy breakthroughs will be. If controlled fusion becomes practical, scaling it to drive spacecraft could make interstellar missions at least conceivable. Similarly, the sheer size of Chrysalis points toward orbital construction and asteroid mining, capabilities that are already the subject of early research. Social and Ethical Questions Building such a ship would commit not only one generation, but dozens of future generations to life in space. None of the original crew would reach the destination. This raises questions of consent, obligation, and the meaning of exploration when it extends across centuries. It doesn't answer these dilemmas, but it ensures they remain part of the discussion. Lessons for Earth Designing sustainable, closed systems, equitable governance, and resilient communities isn't just a space problem. These are also the challenges faced by Earth communities dealing with climate change, scarce resources, and extreme environments. In this way, it doubles as a thought experiment for survival here on our planet. What comes next? For now, Chrysalis functions as an inspiration and benchmark. It provides a structured vision for what interstellar travel could require, helping guide both scientific research and public imagination. Competitions like Project Hyperion encourage engineers, architects, and social scientists to collaborate, ensuring that when humanity does aim for the stars, the groundwork has been carefully laid. The key takeaway is that thinking about interstellar travel is not wasted effort. It sharpens our understanding of the obstacles we face and pushes us to ask whether we are ready to plan on the scale of centuries. Chrysalis isn't a launch-ready ship. It's a vision of interstellar travel that spans generations, demanding ecosystems, governance, and culture as much as propulsion. By winning Project Hyperion, it pushes us to ask, are we ready to build societies among the stars? Ooh.